So we are now in module two about elementary statistics. It's both a review and an application. So this particular uh, module is your basis in answering your exercises four and five, which are already update, uploaded in our classwork, which links to the Google Forms and will give you right away the scores. What is a statistics? A tool to describe our research finding is a science of collecting, classifying, presenting, and interpreting numerical data. There are three statistical methodologies, descriptive, correlational, and inferential. Descriptive from the word describe. It collects, presents, describes numerical data. That simple. Correlational statistical methodology examines possible relationship between variables through correlation coefficient. So while descriptive simply stops at describing, this particular research methodology already examines possible relationship between, for example, one variable with another variable, a relationship with x and y. Now, inferential uh, statistical methodology is useful in making predictions of future behavior by using regression analysis. Uh, hopefully, we are going to reach this part. Uh, to study statistics, we need to be able to speak its language. So these are the basic concepts we need to know. Population, sample, parameter, statistic. You notice the first concept? Is statistic, there is no S. With S, is statistics is our subject. This one is another concept. Population is a universe, the complete collection of individuals, objects, or measurements that have a characteristic in common. This must be carefully defined to determine the membership. And what does that mean? In this example, the total number of persons admitted in all five isolation facilities in Stat City from October 1 to 15, 2020. You notice the whole statement, it's complete with the necessary information for a population. What is that universe? It is composed of those, pers of those persons from five isolation facilities. There is location, Stat City, and particularly, from all, all of the five isolation facilities. And to, in, uh, in this particular dates only, October 1 to 15. So before and after those dates, they are not included. So that is that universe, that is the population. Now, since it's expensive, it's difficult to study the whole population. So we need to have a sample. Sample is a subset or a representative of a population. So based on the population example we just mentioned a while ago, so this is just arbitrary because we really don't know the total number of the population. So let's just, just say 20%, although it may not be actually 20%, it can be less or more. So for example, the 20% of all who were admitted in each of the five isolation facilities in Stock City from October 1 to 15, 2020. Okay. Now the population is something like this, looks like this. And from that population, we took a fraction of that, a part of that, and that is what we call sample. Now, parameter is that characteristic of a population, whereas a statistic is the term that describes the characteristic of a sample. So, in short, population is represented by a sample, whereas parameter is approximated by a statistic. 
Now let's continue with the basic concept variable. A variable I've already mentioned in the previous module that it's something that varies from one person to another. So a characteristic about each individual element of a population or sample like age, that's a variable. It varies from one person to another. And there is that concept piece of data which pertains to the value of the response variable associated with each source element. So for example, for the variable age, the piece of data can be 83 years old. For the variable religious affiliation, a piece of data may be Islam or non-Islam. Okay, so there are two kinds of data. It depends on the research method you use. If you are dealing with qualitative research method, then you obtain qualitative data, and that is attribute. Okay, um, if you use the quantitative research method, you obtain quantitative data, which can either be discrete or continuous. Now, an attribute is just uh, something that can be sorted into classification. It's just a mere description. Like, for example, colors of the cars in the car park, whereas quantitative data uh, that is discrete are characteristics that are separate or discontinuous. Like, for example, months in a year. So we are already uh, um, given the months in a year. We already know what are those months in the year. And there are 12 months in a year. And we know uh, each month's name uh, given is different from one another one month to another. So this continuous, the characteristics shed off into the next, like age. Age, as I am talking to you right now, age, my age, your age, uh, is advancing, like advancing by the second. So that tomorrow, somebody may turn a year older, okay? We are a day, each one of us is a day older. So that is what is meant by continuous. It's something that continues, that goes on by the second. It does not stay as is. Like months in a year, it will not continue. There are just uh, clearly 12 months in a year. Okay? So we now go to levels of measurement. There are four levels of measurement, and these are arranged according, these are levels, okay? So they are not uh, of the same uh, plane. <laughs> of course, they are not of the same level because there are, these are in different levels according to this arrangement, the lowest of which is the nominal, then ordinal, going up, interval, and going up, ratio. So I've arranged it in such a way that if you can actually have its um, short, shortened term so that NOAA, NOAR, N-O-I-R, for easy um, recall of these levels. So what's the leveling, what's the importance of this leveling arrangement? Okay, since this is the lowest, the nominal, it's a characteristics, it's just, exclusive in itself okay whereas the ordinal has also the characteristics of a nominal uh, going up interval has its own characteristics but it also has the characteristics of ordinal and of nominal now ratio has the characteristics of all interval, ordinal, and nominal. And it has also its own characteristics. So it is the most flexible of all levels. So the upper two ratio and interval, we can say these are continuous variables. You can quantify them. You can quantify the values associated with ratio and interval. 
whereas ordinal and nominal are categorical variables or these are qualitative variables. These are uh, usually just attributes or descriptions. What's imp so important in knowing uh, on identifying if the variable is either NOIR? It is for you to make decisions about the type of statistical analysis that should be performed. You can just assign a statistical tool to all of this, okay? It depends on what level of measurement it, uh, the variable has, and then you can have the corresponding appropriate statistical tool to use, okay? As a range according to this, just like According to this form, just like a stair, stairwell, the nominal labeled the same or not, like male or female. That's its own characteristics. Uh, ordinal has the characteristics that is rank. So aside from label, the characteristic of being nominal, it can be rank, like second floor. Okay. There is first floor, there is third floor. Interval has the characteristics of nominal, label, ranked, ordinal, and it has its own characteristics that is range. For example, fever of 39 to 41 degrees centigrade. So that is range. What you see, 39 to 41, it's a range which the in-between, which is 40, is exist existent. So there is meaning, importance to the in-between. If you are going to say also a score of 1 to 10, so 1 to 10 are mentioned, but there are still other numbers in between 1 to 10, and these are existent and important as well. So 2 to, two to 9 are there. Now, what about the ratio? Ratio has um, the characteristic of being nominal, label, rank, ordinal, interval, range, and zero. What does that mean? It has a true zero value, like the 24-month-old baby. So that is an age. 20, uh, age starts with zero. Before one year old, an infant is considered at zero uh, age. Okay. So in totality, this will be how it will look like nominal data, ordinal data, interval ratio data. These are quantitative, these are qualitative, and the descriptions we, that I've already mentioned. Okay. If it has a true zero value, then that must be a ratio data, like weight. It starts with zero. There is that weighing scale that starts with zero. Height or any length for that matter starts with zero. The tape measure starts at zero. Okay. Whereas the interval data, if there is no zero point or with the, in, uh, in that particular piece of data or variable, then that is automatically an interval data. Like fever. In our previous example, fever, there is no body temperature that is zero. Patay na. Okay? And so is the uh, temperature of the environment. There is no zero, but there is negative. Uh, in Canada, for example, negative four, that is so, so cold. But there is no zero. Patay Okay? So that's it.